Well, hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my little love bugs. It's Michelle the Oracle coming at you live again today. I was led to do a ride the wave, um, but we are focusing specifically on relationships. Um, don't get all excited. I mean, I know relationships, we start to think of a beloved spouse lover, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. Um, and that, yeah, that's kind of all relevant. Yeah, I see you. I see you, Tarot. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I guess that's what we're focusing on. I mean, I wanted to make it bigger. <clears throat> Probably that's my own human's resistance to talking about relationships of love, partnerships. And I guess that's where I'm going. I was hoping to talk more about your relationship with yourself, with your divine, because without all that in alignment, and I do highly believe that, with all that, without all of that in an alignment, um, relationships that we have with any kind of beloved spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, usually reflect some kind of disease that we have inside of ourselves. When we're not asserting our own value, when we're you know, compromising the things that we desire, the things that we know we deserve. Uh, the universe will send us a partner that kind of exemplifies that or shows that back. It's the law of attraction. So I guess today's Ride the Wave is going to be doing, let's talk about romantic love. I saw you, Tarot. I saw you. You flipped because it heard inside of this human vessel that Michelle doesn't want to talk about this, but they're going to make me and I'm okay with that. So the rest of you must be feeling this way too. Gah, I'm so tired of relationships. I don't want to think about it, right? I'm so tired. I've been healing and looking at my devil for so damn long. I don't want to talk about love. I've been seeing their devil, dealing with their devil. I'm just so sick and tired. Wounded warrior type energy, right? The nine of wands. Anyway, so we're going to do a ride the wave. I am using a deck. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I've been bonding and having a relationship with this deck since I came home from California. And it was sitting here waiting for me. This deck, if y'all don't know, is a deck. Look at there's the two of cups. Yes, girl. Anyway, this deck is by uh, NFGC, the No Fucks Given crew. Um, the creator of No Fucks Given. Her name is Sherry. Look, there you are, baby. Yeah, that's how it's been feeling, right? This is why we don't want to talk about relationships. It looks like I've been the student the whole damn time. Anyway, um, I know Michelle's going to temper. She's going to temper herself. Um, anyway, this deck is from Sherry of the No Fucks Given crew. My human is really bad at human time, so I don't know when I started watching her. It was, it's been a couple years. Um, when I found her, ugh, she's a blessing. Go check her out. Sherry from No Fucks Given Crew. She's a badass. Um, her journey seemed to have mirrored mine when I found her over a couple years ago. Um, she does twin flame readings, and even though I've stepped away from a twin flame label, um, I do understand and agree with the um, relationship and the importance of it. Uh, but it is, like everything else, it's just an aspect of the journey for me personally as a reader and as a human. That twin flame label for me uh, soured uh, for a little bit because it, that's what it was supposed to do, right? Ugh, relationships, ew, twin, you know, that type of stuff. Anyway, go check her out. I'm going to put a link. Um, I'm going to put a link in my YouTube. There it is again. Look, hello. Um, and that's the time I was born. Look at that. That's the time I was born. This human that does these readings, <laughs> Michelle the Oracle, she was born at 11-11. So this has always been one of my favorite cards. Anyway, I've been watching Sherry uh, through her development of these cards. And um, I can't wait to actually talk with her because I would really love to know where did it come from? Where did you think of this? You know, I see your artistic talent. Um, you know, the ups, the downs, the cycle of creation, all that stuff. Anyway, we're going to do a ride the wave. My hands are shaking. I'm not really sure why, but I'm going with it. Um, ride the wave. If you've never joined me before about a ride the wave, we pull three cards. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Um, and the very first card represents the starting point. Like if you're at the beach in the ocean, ready to catch a wave. The very first card is that point of getting on your board. Here comes the wave. Here it comes. Here it comes. That's the first card. Okay, and that's going to be the energy of where you're at or 
the thing to look at, whichever, whatever spirit wants to tell us. Now this has to do with relationships. Second card is going to be the very top of that wave. Whoop, I'm up on top. What's it look like? What's it feel like? That's card number two. And card number three represents the woo-hoo-hoo or the oh shit out of the wave. <laughs> I'm going to be positive, so we're going to think about the woo-hoo-hoo coming out of the wave as it pertains to relationships of love with the beloved, with your mirror, with your soulmate, whoever you happen to be in love with. Those of you that are single and don't have anybody, well then project yourself in any form that you'd like. Um, you know, however, <laughs> however you project that. Um, but I guess spirit does want me to be clear in my own human that this is about relationship love, um, not just about the relationship with yourself or your divine or your associates at work or your parents or anything. This is as it pertains to that partner that is mirroring or um, coming back in the law of attraction to what you're currently putting out. Um, this deck is about ready. Thanks you all for joining me. Cards one, two, three. Um, yeah, you're about ready. Give me a second. Like I said, my human's hands are shaking. I'm going with it. Mm. Ooh, she's ready. There it is. Okay, first card. Wow, the throat chakra. <laughs> I mean, let's go big about relationships. Uh, second one, Mother Earth. That's the Queen of Coin. Third card coming out, the energy. Contemplation. Uh, this kind of popped up when I was, you know, talking about uh, thinking. Anyway, um, I always look at the bottom of the deck, what's underneath. Vibe Tribe, very feminine. Very feminine, and it's interesting that it starts with a throat chakra, and that image feels like our masculine side. Our masculine side being the stuff that we know we deserve our force, our energy going forward. And that's what the throat chakra actually is. It's a powerhouse for us. We have several powerhouses. One comes from up there. One comes from right here. One comes from in here. There's a couple more down lower, but the throat chakra deals with communicating, <laughs> talking. That's our starting point when we're getting on this surfboard. It's the uh, masculine looking card that we have and all the rest being very feminine, creative, nurturing, loving, compassionate, um, reconciliation type energy for this wave of relationships. Um, so let's talk about this throat chakra card. Again, look at how beautiful these are, right? Like I, I'm, I feel so blessed because I got to see Sherry when she was creating these and watching them come to life and, oh, I'm working on the book and, oh, I'm getting the cards printed. It's been such a joy to watch her journey. And that's the truth. So the very first card, the throat chakra, like I said, is one of our powerhouses. That's where we communicate from. That's where the actual humans' thoughts spirits um, contribution and its heartfelt desires comes out of the human's mouth that's our throat chakra um, now we've been doing a lot of clearing of getting rid of when that throat chakra would say something yucky like i don't want to talk about love i don't want to talk about relationships i'm so tired of dealing with a twin flame type of stuff um, but you know uh, just like everything that feels challenging i'm sure like doing this deck Everything that feels challenging is worth it, especially if you have spirits contribution. Look at that up there. Spirits guiding you, spirits enlightening you. They're kind of saying, remember, you and I just went through this cleansing and clearing and we have this whole new relationship. Um, it doesn't feel old. It feels fresh. It feels very structured, very firm. Man, I know I'm looking at all this white right here like this whole thing. I'm feeling journey. Don't stop believing. Remember journey? Of course we remember journey. Don't stop believing. It's almost like we need to communicate that with ourselves, <laughs> with our divine, and maybe I guess with our partner. Maybe I guess with our beloved. Maybe we need to talk. Maybe there's something we need to say. Maybe there's something they need to say to us. Now, I'm not playing male versus female. This resides in all of us, this energy, this I know what I deserve, but also our masculine holds a wound that says, uh, but if I say it, I might fuck it up. If I say it, they might reject me. If I put it out there, it might be kicked back. So understand fear comes with this, however we deal with fear. Um, let it go. I mean, tell the divine fear, you know, fuck fear. 
Anyway, the, yeah, no fucks given crew. I don't give a fuck. I mean, you know, what What are you afraid of? Saying something? What are they going to say? No, thank you. Um, I don't like you. What You know, I'm sure you've been told worse. So apparently getting on the uh, wave today or tomorrow or whenever you see this next week, whenever Spirit is talking about you and guiding you to this video about your own relationship, when you get on that surfboard, Clear communication, honesty, alignment, truth. There's no drama attached to this. There is only free flowing. There's no constipation. I don't see anything blocking this. The only thing that would block this is if you allow fear to come in. But look, this, this is being protected by darkness. And darkness has everything, so I don't have to be worried about it. Um, so that's our starting point. Very top of the wave. Mother Earth, I mean, being on top of a wave, being at a beach in general, I mean, you really tap into Mother Earth energy, you start to think for a moment, hopefully, your human is at a point where you see a wave or you see a rock or you see a seagull and you're like, holy shit, that's incredible. Aren't we so lucky to be humans? Isn't this place lovely? That's what Mother Earth does. She just basks in her own beauty. She will stare at those lips and go, ho, 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 I would want to kiss myself like that. It's self-love. It's not ego or pride. That's all the wrong way. This thing should not be ashamed of her beauty. Mother Earth should not be ashamed of her power. Mother Earth should not be ashamed to stop and take a look at herself and go, boo, I'm the bomb. I feel so good. Look at all these different colors. Whether I dyed my hair that color, I just feel like I have all this variety and flavor and ability to stretch and grow and create. So I guess on the top of our wave, especially when it comes to relationships, let's start to look at them and take honor and gratitude in them. I know Michelle. I know my human right now. I can hear her. She's like, yeah, okay. But that's the thing. We have to not backpedal. We can't think of old relationships. Any ex husbands wives ex-partners lovers you can't you can't do that remember there's nothing clogging this up that's all in the darkness now darkness holds everything that isn't real and is real so you know if we're starting with honesty and clarity and trusting that everything has us well at the top of the wave we can be this we can be mother earth and we can think okay anything's possible sometimes hurricanes come and wipe you out but then you rebuild and you work with your higher power co-creator and divine and belief that something is about to remanifest the earth suit is the pentacle suit the earth suit it's in my hand bada bang spirit went hey look here michelle there you go that's pentacles and that's what mother earth does she takes her energy she takes her words she has faith, says it, and the universe just kind of goes bop, bop, bop in its timing. Hey, look, there it is. So up there, male or female, at the top of your wave when it comes to love and relationships. Give honor to yourself, whether you made a mistake or not, whether you're male or female. Take a moment to look at the beauty of love with another partner. How good it feels to have someone who can sit there with you and let you do this and say whatever and they're like yeah I have no memory of that I'm just gonna kind of put that out there like wouldn't that be a perfect relationship if you have that with yourself you'll attract the human in your space that offers you that opportunity so maybe we need to take a look around maybe we're not noticing rose cut she doesn't have rose colored glasses so she's seeing everything clearly she's got all these colors in her hair so I know she's been there done that and when I say she, I mean all of us, male, female, whatever anatomy you're rocking this lifetime. I don't really pay attention to that anymore. So um, this is your creative side, nurturing side. Get up there and actually put some love on relationships, the ones that hurt, the ones that were great. Um, if there's any pains inside your human that need to be let go, look, let that go. Shoot it up to the top. Put this out this way. We got you. Um, give honor. When Mother Earth is sitting around just hugging a tree, Spirit goes, here, here's some more beautiful trees and opportunities to touch them, feel them, be with them. 
Mother Earth. Okay, so the coming out energy, you're on top of that wave. Here we come out. Remember, I told you I was going to be positive. And this kind of is, um, it can be a positive card if the human has patience. This is contemplation, the seven of coin. This is usually like a waiting period. And in this card, she captures it so lovely. We're waiting for something to bear fruit. We're waiting for someone to come home. Again, male, female, I don't care who's sitting there in that picture. We both have all the aspects. So it's your human's carcass sitting there waiting for something to manifest. That's the coming out energy. Now here's the thing. This is a beautiful card until you read it for yourself when you're feeling impatient and you're asking the divine, where the hell is it? Where the hell is she? Where the hell is he? When is it going to happen? Bop, 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 bop. And the universe goes, well, I mean, you've got some other stuff you got to figure out then. Or it'll bring you things that will bring you that same frustration and the I'm not ready yet. So this coming out energy card of the seven of coin, I always tell humans in the readings when they get that, this kind of contemplation time, sometimes spirit gives us a rest to put extra juice in whatever boat's coming her way. They're loading it up with a couple more things. And every time she gets impatient, it's just taking a little bit longer. Not because spirit doesn't like us, but because we're here to learn something. Um, coming out of your wave if you're waiting for this well take the word waiting out of that because waiting fucks with us waiting is means that it might not come um hope i mean sherry's part of sherry's name is hope and this is keeping hope and knowledge and awareness that spirits got you they're not going to screw you over trust me when you wrote your story for yourself you didn't you didn't write an unhappily ever after. That's not why we came to this planet. This planet resides and revolves around and they lived happily ever after. Um, that doesn't just mean this and her partner. This means her and everybody else on the planet. All of us. We're all ripening something for all of us. So don't get impatient. There's someone probably five feet away from you waiting for the same thing. Okay? Take a breath. Be patient. Try not to inject bitterness, jealousy, frustration into that crop that you're waiting to pop for that boat that you're hoping comes in. Know that that hope will be fulfilled. We fulfill everything that the human asks for. They just sometimes don't know or don't want to talk about it because they're tired. And I get it. Relationships have been harsh. For the past few years, uh, yeah, at least seven or eight. I'm, I don't know. Who knows? I'm not going to put a human time on it, but this is our wave. You're starting, especially when it comes to love and our relationships. Ooh, look. Another chakra card. This one is residing in the heart. These kind of go together, and it's kind of funny because, look, a core spirit... In front of this space, whatever was going to be there, they put this. This is a. This isn't a tourmaline, Ugh, Michelle. It's a black obsidian. I'm sorry. A beloved of mine. Um, she gave this to me um, during a sitting one time, and this is a black obsidian. Hi, there I am. Hi. Um, in the reflection, uh, that's what our twin is. That reflection. Hi. Um, anyway, it's kind of funny that this heart, this black obsidian, which keeps negativity out of our hearts, out of our heads, out of our space. Of course, spirit plopped it right there where the heart chakra card was going to align with this very first card of throat chakra. So I'm just going to kind of put these people here together because they belong um beautiful but the bottom of the deck is um vibe tribe this is a excuse the deck i'm going to move this over here this is the three of cups and cups are emotions feelings they're connected to um you know what we manifest everything that comes to us bop 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 gets manifested um, with those emotions. That's why the emotions of clarity, knowledge, awareness, I'm sure, creates a clear quartz. Okay? When we're scared, worried, impatient, 
That's kind of interesting that this would manifest as black, and we did. We kind of told you this black around here is like this protective field. It has both light and dark in it. That's what the dark has. That's what the light has. It has everything in it. That's where creation comes from. Anyway, um, very interesting that negativity would be popped out and represented as a black obsidian, and it's in a heart. So maybe all this negativity that we might be feeling, I don't want to talk about relationships, I don't want to deal with the twin, I hate love, this is so frustrating, whatever. It's taking so long, they're never going to get their shit together. Understand, the more you keep repeating that, the more you're going to manifest that. And the thing that was on the bottom of the deck is this Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is, for me, an ancestral card, number one. Um, every time it comes up in readings for me and the clients that I'm reading, the Three of Cups, Spirit always tells them, this is a ancestral card. You're releasing old yuck yuck and old stuff from them. Um, so understand, maybe some of that frustration lies in your ancestral. Maybe you heard mom complaining about love or dad complaining about love or sisters or brothers or whoever was in your environment growing up and those things are still working through you and coming out of your crop. Maybe spirit's kind of telling you we're, we've shaken everything and we're getting clarity so um this black obsidian seems to be absorbing all that negativity and turning it into beauty because everything that goes into this darkness comes back out in creation as something else that's how the universe works so the bottom of the deck being this three of cups i guess you know remember some things you have ancestrally programmed into you that you've heard in your environment on tv shows and just don't be impatient with that stuff. Let that stuff come through. If you want it in your crop or on that next boat, well, keep it. If you don't, then tell your ancestors, hey, help me. Help me talk this out. Help me write this out. Help me process this with so-and-so who gave me bad juju about relationships. Maybe we need to have a relation uh, talk with an ex or something. Maybe we're going to communicate something. Maybe something's been cleared. Maybe... <laughs> And I know, I'm not resisting it. I love love. I mean, that's what I'm here for, is unconditional love. Um, so maybe it's time to put all that yuck and I'm so tired into this black obsidian and let this clarity happen and let spirit create something new because all of that being put in that darkness, spirit now goes, now it's in my hands. Now I get to see who you are and all those things that you really love and maybe put that on your boat. And here it comes. So have hope. Don't be impatient. If you're feeling frustrated, go to water, release some kind of release your emotions. Get together with your tribe, get together with your family, maybe talk about love. Maybe discuss, "Hey, what about you and dad? How about you and mom? What about you and them?" You know, maybe we need to talk. Maybe we need to bring some stuff out. However this resonates for you, it always, you know, it has multiple meanings all the time. Anyway, that's our ride the wave when it comes to relationships. And yes, Michelle, the Oracle, will be, you know, contemplating this today, especially when she's feeling frustrated, impatient, or the I don't want to do it anymore. You know, maybe there is an old tape playing through me that I need to release that came from mom or dad or an ex-partner or old experience. But this is also very much a get with your tribe that's on the bottom of the deck. Whatever's on the bottom is what's fueling the entire wave. You attract your friends. You attract your environment. Like I said, this is focused on partnership and love, but when I see a card like this, it talks about our tribe as well. If you're hanging out with girlfriends or guy friends that still talk shit about love, but you're inside still wanting it, understand that's getting put on your boat too. So watch this tribe. I love my tribe, but deliver me from evil. I, I don't need to be pulled into anybody else's stuff. So be aware of that as well. Hopefully this helps. I am going to write this deck. Watch. Like this deck is so badass. Um, I'm going to be doing more and talking more about this. Uh, like I said, I had to go through a little partnering I have to fall in love with. And my, my deck has to fall back in love with me. Um... Well, yeah, and Michelle has been experiencing some Dark Night of the Soul stuff, so um, it's kind of delayed my being able to connect to this deck as much as I am connected to it right now. I love it. Um, 
I will be putting the link into Sherry. Go check her out on YouTube. She's got No Fucks Given crew. She talks about Twin Flame, and she does it in a not codependent way, and I respect that because there's so many Twin Flame people that are just projecting this, I need you. Where are you? And Spirit's like, dude, you're right here. Like, just chill the fuck out. And so I really respect her for taking Twin Flame readings off of codependency because the only relations they're going to be sustaining going forward are going to be interdependent dependent ones it's sacred so get your shit together my friends my humans and my michelle <laughs> i love you guys so much if you have any questions let me know i'll put the link for sherry in the thing check her out on facebook love you guys peace